Are you looking for volunteer hours to put on a resume? Do you want to have safe drinking water when you fill up your bottle at the fill up stations? Do you enjoy seeing the ducks on your way to class? If you answered yes to one of those questions, then listen closely. Appalachian Voices covers the environmental, cultural, and outdoor news of the Appalachian Mountains. The source aims to cover niche materials not often covered by big news sources. There are several movements that you can join, but the one I'm highlighting for you today is the cleaning up of coal ash spills. Before I begin to tell you about Appalachian Voices and how they are working actively to prevent coal ash spills, I must first inform you about coal ash and why it is a major problem. Coal ash is waste that is left over after coal is burned. Primarily, coal is burned at coal-powered electricity plants in order to produce electricity. However, the problem with coal ash is that it contains heavy metals such as arsenic, lead, and mercury. If consumed or inhaled, coal ash can cause cancer or nervous system impacts such as cognitive disabilities or development issues. Coal ash is very dangerous. And the saddest part? Coal ash has made its way into water sources right here in the Appalachian region. Coal ash is normally disposed of in landfills or in coal ash ponds. These coal ash ponds are lined with anti-leaking barricades that prevent the water from seeping into the ground. However, some of these do not do very well and allow the toxic coal ash to seep into water supplies. Coal ash disposed of in landfills can make it through water supplies through runoff. This process in which coal ash leaks into a water supply is called leaching. Currently, coal ash is leaked from disposal sites in more than 100 different locations. A very prominent example is the Dan River spill. 39,000 tons of toxic coal ash sludge leaked into the Dan River after a leak from a Duke Energy holding pond. The spill sent 27 million gallons of contaminated water into the river. The Dan River is a primary drinking source for the public, and because of the spill, lives for the people who use the water has become much more difficult. Let's take a look at how their lives have been reshaped. The hardest moment for me is when I would just lie awake in the middle of the night thinking about all the times I had made a pitcher of Kool-Aid with the water. So horrible as a mom that I didn't know something was wrong. Don't feel safe using the water. The only thing I can do to keep my family safe is to buy filtered drinking water. And the cost of buying water adds up, but I have to protect my family. Appalachian Voices aims to channel awareness of these coal ash spills through the use of their newspaper. In several situations, they have also conducted tests on water quality and checked the well-being of the animals at risk. Appalachian Voices continue to follow the path of community members and cleanup crews in order to inform the public. Appalachian Voices' mission statement says that they want to encourage federal agencies to adopt stronger regulation policies on coal ash in order to protect the health of the community and the waterways in which they rely on. Appalachian Voices is open to community members to participate in volunteering. All you have to do is show up at the Appalachian Voices office on King Street. Everyone is welcome to attend and there will be training available. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Add your voice, or your help, to the group of people working actively to protect our communities and our water supply. Thank you for watching.